My name is George Edmondson here with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the M Tracker 3D plugin. We're going to use this inside of Motion 5 and we're going to track a 3D room around me using a green screen and some trackers. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have me on a green screen. We've placed some trackers on our green screen. We went ahead and used some blue painters tape to create these trackers so that we'd be able to easily key out the green and the blue. You'll want to track your footage prior to keying anything because you'll want M Tracker 3D to have all of this available information for the tracking process. So you see we have our footage imported. Go ahead and highlight your footage. We can go over here in our library to our filters, scroll down to Motion VFX, and you'll find M Tracker 3D. Apply this to the footage that you want to track, and you'll see that in your inspector you've got the option to track, or you can track right on the screen. It's simply one button to begin tracking your footage. Okay, now that we're done tracking, you will go to your target icon, select this icon, and now you're able to select where you want to place your object in 3D space. Let's scrub through just to make sure we know exactly where we want to be. So the goal is to place a USDZ 3D model inside of Motion, and we're placing me into that model. Now that we've placed our point, we want to apply this data to Motion. Go to your library. Go to your favorites folder. MTracker 3D automatically places an MTracker 3D folder and places the 3D group and camera that has all of the keyframed information automatically. Select your 3D group and your camera, place them into your project above your 2D group. Cameras only affect 3D groups. Do you want to switch your 2D groups to 3D? We actually want to keep our initial group a 2D group, so we'll keep as 2D. You can now see we have all of our keyframed information for the camera automatically applied and our 3D gizmo is available. Now the fun part, let's add our USDZ room model. Let's go ahead and select that and import. Now, we don't see our USDZ model, that's okay. We want to go into our 3D object controls, set this to original. We want to make sure that our USDZ model is placed inside of our 3D group. If you didn't originally import your USDZ model into your 3D group, you may have to reset your parameters. This 3D model was downloaded online. The anchor point isn't set appropriately. So we'll want to fine tune this anchor point until we see our model placed on the anchor point of our 3D gizmo. Okay, so let's pause for just a second. Some 3D items that are downloaded online may have their anchor point appropriately positioned in the center of the model, while others may be off. So you may have to fine tune and play with your anchor point to get it positioned in the center of your 3D group gizmo. All situations are completely unique. That's better. Now that you have your room ready, we're gonna want to scale this room and position it appropriately. Of course, the goal is to place ourselves in the room, so we need a keyed out version but we'll get to that in a second. Let's continue working on the size and placement and position of our room until it looks all right.
Let's scrub through and see how our camera looks so far. As you can see, our virtual camera is now moving around the room just as our real camera did on our green screen. If you want to check and see how things are going, select your 3D object and lower the opacity just a bit. That track looks pretty perfect. Okay, now we need to bring in our keyed footage. Here we have my original footage. We went ahead and keyed that out in Final Cut Pro and exported as ProRes XQ4444. This holds the alpha channel. Select import. We want to place our new keyed footage above our camera and 3D group in our project. We want this group to be 2D, so let's go ahead and turn off 3D. And we'll want to reset our parameters. I'm still presented with a problem. As you can see, this is our original footage that has not been trimmed. We want to match this up with our tracked footage. Let's turn off our 3D group. Perfect. Now you can see our movement matches perfectly with our movement on our green screen. My name is George Edmondson here with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the M Tracker 3D plugin. We're going to use this inside of Motion 5 and we're going to track a 3D room around me using a green screen and some trackers. Let's get started. We can then continue to fine tune the position, scale, rotation, etc. of our room to make sure that it's exactly how we want it. Let's open our camera keyframe information and talk about something really quickly. Typically your track is going to be perfect. If you notice any deviation whatsoever, you are able to come in and manually adjust keyframes ever so slightly just to make sure you're exactly where you want to be. Everything looks smooth. My name is George Edmondson here with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the M Tracker 3D plugin. We're going to use this inside of Motion 5 and we're going to track a 3D room around me using a green screen and some trackers. Let's get started.